Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back. Question time with Zesty Lime. The answers, so. As always, I've let this video up for about three weeks to a month and as always, thank you for your comments and everything like that. So, I've got the comments here next to me on the screen. So, Basically, some of the questions are kind of repeated, uh, but I'll just basically go over the question again quickly just to give out the same answers. So nevertheless, let's get straight into it and try not make the video super, super, super long. So, <clears throat> Curryman-7607 asks, what is your number one favorite fizzy drink that you have reviewed on this channel? Now I'm gonna take fizzy drink as a broad term. So I'm gonna say probably the Black Sun Energy, energy Drink that was many many years ago now and it was just probably one of the best flavor energy drinks I ever tried super super nice uh, many years ago that's probably probably the best one that I reviewed number two what's your most played video game now see this is a good one because I think I grew up with the COD 4 era so I started mainly like most people with COD 4, World of World Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3 etc etc now I think of all the games I've played today and even though I don't play many games these days because of time I think, what did I sit my ass on seven days a week back then? And it was literally all of the old Call of Duty. But I'm trying to think which Call of Duty out of all of them I sat on the most. And in all honesty, it was probably one of the Treyarch games because of Zombies. Because even when a new, like, Modern Warfare was released, I still went back to, like, obviously World at War Zombies at the time. Because Zombies was just so freaking good. And, of course, when Modern Warfare 2 came out, we still only had World at War Zombies. Um, so, in all honesty, I probably think World at War probably as much as i loved black ops 2 and everything like that it, it's probably a type between black ops 2 and world at war in all honesty but it'll be one of those early cods that's definitely the most played games i've ever played because they were just a heyday the, you know, the best time cod ever was and number three how sweet do you like your drinks um i do like them with a decent sweetness with or without sugar is a different question but i do like them to be fairly sweet because if they just aren't really sweet at all whatsoever then you kind of just well what's the point so um no, i do like them sweet but obviously generally sugar-free sweet obviously being the most part as well so old account 6208 asks what is your ideal caffeine content in an energy drink and this will probably surprise some people but my ideal caffeine content is zero why well i've always said this from day one i've always drank energy drinks for the taste because if you think about it you look at all the fizzy drinks on the market okay and then you look at all of the incredible unique out of this world flavors these energy drink companies out of whether it's the drink version or the powder version like jufuel sneak x gamer etc the flavors these companies create are unique you do not get these type of flavors in a normal fizzy drink like and that kind of annoys me because I'm like, I'd happily drink, you know, a two litre slug of like Monster Energy, for example, with no caffeine. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I know, I think X Gamer and stuff, they do like caffeine free um, tubs of, you know, of, of powdered drink, which is good because then you're literally getting the flavour, which is what I want. And I've always said this, I don't drink them for the caffeine. If I want a nice good caffeine drink, I'll have a nice coffee, you know, a nice latte or something like that. But ideally, no, zero, zero milligrams of caffeine because... I want to drink them like a normal drink because the flavors are so unique and that's why i think energy drinks are so popular is because the flavors are just they just don't exist in the normal fizzy drink world so yeah zero uh, number two if you could have any energy drink flavor which isn't currently available on the market what would it be your videos are great thank you in all honesty and this is an easy one for me black current think about it black current is hardly used as an actual as, as a pure energy drink flavor i think black currant is mixed in a few drinks here and there but it kind of gets diluted down with other flavors but there's a pure black currant energy drink on the market now as i make this video vimto have just released their energy drink on the market but vimto isn't true black black currant and that will obviously disappear in due time and it's only just come out so obviously all the years present it hasn't been black currant there was, I think about five, six years ago, there was a black kind of energy drink in the bargain shops called Burst. I think it was Burst and it was um, it was a pure black kind drink and it was super nice. I bought many, many cans of that. I think it was called Burst, Burst, something like that. It, I have reviewed it on my channel and that was just pure black kind and it was lush. Um, 
so yeah i look at all the big you know the big brands and i think there's no black car in. a pure black car and energy drink we need that i'm sorry but can you imagine not as being a energy drink i'm sorry that sounds really nice so 100 black current for me uh so i apologize if i say this all so shuri 7991 asks two random questions have you heard nf's latest album hope if so what did you think of it and if not i highly recommend it well i don't actually know who nf is um he doesn't seem to be i don't know if you live in america or england or wherever you live but nf doesn't get himself on the chart here in England, like he doesn't get himself in the, you know, the the top 40 or whatever you want to call it, so we don't really know him as such. However, I did look on Spotify at him just to kind of find out who he was, and I did have a quick look at a couple of his songs, and some of his songs actually seem pretty decent. He actually seems pretty good at rapping. The lyrics are pretty dope, so I will listen through to his album like another time, but um, no, his, his music does seem you know, good from what I heard on his initial songs. But yeah, I never heard of NF before, but now he's on my radar. I'm obviously aware of him. Number two, have you seen the latest Transformer movie? Uh, not yet. It's on my list. I don't go cinema anymore for various reasons, but I I make a list of all the films that come out and stuff, and then I always watch them. Like, eventually I get around to them. Um, I always watch them at home now, I said, for various reasons. But uh, not yet, but I will get around to it. But I have seen all the other Transformers movies. Right, so I'm just going to scroll down a bit because my PC screen is here. So, uh, the uh, Gameco Sarkov twins ask, and they ask eight questions. Thank you very much for those. Um, what's your take on the Crazy Cola in the Crazy World song? We love it, do you? So these guys recently uploaded a 23 slash four minute edit of me uh, reviewing one of the Crazy Cola drinks. They remixed into a 24 minute video and yeah i don't know whether you guys are long viewers or short-term viewers i've only seen you pop up in the last week so if you are new to the channel then hi but in terms of what do i think to that song uh now if you haven't watched me for a while guys i always say the truth i don't lie i don't fake reaction i don't bs i basically get straight to the point and that's why my current viewers like me for that point in all honesty, it's way too long at 24 minutes. Way too long, guys. What I'd suggest is remake that song, but put it down into a nice three minute to three and a half segment, make it a bit more upbeat, then show me that song. But 24 minutes, it's way too long, guys. Way too long. And you guys done me dirty on the thumbnail. Look, just because I got a hat on doesn't mean I have hair. I do have hair, guys, but you make me bald, almost bald in the thumbnail. You guys done me dirty there, but yes, in all honesty, make it to a three, three minute song, a lot more upbeat, up the tempo, and then we can have another listen. Number two, any way to send you cans from abroad without giving you my personal address? Uh, no. The only other way is to make a PO box where you send it into a, like a, well, a PO box is basically you go to like a local delivery hub, so like Royal Mail here in England because um, I'm guessing you're not in England from that set from that question uh, basically but you have to pay for it and it's not cheap and then basically you, you give out a PO box so it's PO box I don't know blah 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 postcode blah 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 of that PO box and I go collect all the parcels from there I may do it one day because I know you guys do want to send me stuff over the years I may try it for a few months just to see if it's any worth it but it's not that cheap um, but yeah unless I give you my personal address uh, no currently unfortunately uh, now, now, question three, you guys asked, when are you coming to the studio again? And then I replied to you in the comments saying, uh, what do you mean, what studio? And you haven't replied, so, but I don't know what you mean by that, like, what studio? Am I missing something? Or, because I haven't been to any studio or studios, like, I don't know what you mean. So, you haven't replied to the comments, so I can't answer that question, but I don't know what, they come to the studio again, what studio? I don't know, guys. Number four, where do you want to be in 10 years, both personally and with the channel? Well, I mean, I'm 29 now, so I'm going to be 39. Ugh, bloody hell, I'm going to be 39. So ideally, I would like to be doing YouTube. Well, personally, I'd like to be a millionaire, you know, win the lottery or something, obviously. Uh, with the channel... Well, I mean, I would love the channel to really take off by then and be doing it full time and doing lots of other stuff, basically. Uh, five, what's your main passion right now? Hmm, 
Well, I always like my games, I always like my cars, I've always liked my technology, I've always liked my films. And my t to be honest, at the moment, my main passion right now is probably TV because there's a lot of great stuff on TV at the moment. We've got the new Takeshi's Castle, uh, which is on Prime. We've obviously got Disney Ashoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka, the Star Wars thing, which is absolutely insane. You guys to go watch Ahsoka. We've got, I've just finished off Foundation on Apple TV. We've got Invasion currently live uh, on Apple TV. Um, I finished off Playtonic on Apple TV recently. Um, the James May Just Cooks show season two is on Prime. Uh, Welcome to Wrexham with Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney is uh, season two has just come out. So probably TV has a really lot of good stuff on TV at the moment. Or oh, the streaming services, I call it, because it's not really TV, is it? But yeah, probably TV at the moment or oh, streaming because don't watch mainstream TV. Um, Number six, ever DJ, we used to DJ together. Um, no, I haven't. And again, if you're in another country, then, well, it's impossible. Number seven, do you have any children or want any? No and no. And number eight, any uni degree? No. Want to get one? No. If so, what field? Um, I really don't know in terms of what field. I don't know what field, because I just, uni's crap here in England. They put you massively in debt and it's just, you just put yourself massive in debt. The England uni scene is just crap because you just get put into so much debt and it's just pointless. And, you know, I'm on a 40 plus K job as it is with my day job, which is brilliant. Unless you want to be like some lawyer or something where you have to study for like years on end at uni, then fair enough. But really, uni's just, you know, there's no point. Right, scrolling down a bit more. So, oh, I apologize if I say this wrong. Besus Meth first. 5119 asks, what's your favorite drink you've used? Again, similar to the other question, probably the Black Sun Energy drink. Where are your lights from? Right. So my lights, which you hear in the background, it's called a Starlight Projector. Basically, Google it, uh, Amazon, eBay, Starlight Projector. There's loads of different ones on there. So you get this little controller. The actual light box is sitting over there in the corner. So basically, I can change all the different colors. So you can go to red or just pure blue. You can go green and blue. You can go white. You can do green and white. So you can change... Uh, you can change all these different types of colours. Now you're probably thinking why we're not going for green with Zestin Arm Studios. Well, I really like the purpley kind of galaxy space thing. That looks really, really nice. But yeah, you can turn all of that off and just have the green lasers in the background, as you can see, which is pretty dope. But yeah, you can change all the different colours. It's really awesome. At night time, pure night, it looks really, really dope. But yeah, I keep it on purple because it gives it a nice effect. It has got a Bluetooth speaker in it and you can plug in, a, I think, an AUX and it has got timers and there is loads of other different modes as well. But that's basically what it is. Really worth buying it. They're only about £20, something like that. So really that not expensive. What browser do you use? I thought of Opera GX when I saw your X Gamer deal. I'm aware of Opera GX, but I'm a hardcore Chrome fan purely because the extensions. Now, I know you can import your extensions in Opera GX, but it's just at the moment, Chrome is just Chrome is just king. Just you gotta love Chrome. I just love the extensions and the feel of it. I love Chrome. I'm hardcore Chrome. Uh, right. So what's that smell? Asks. How many cans do you have in your collection now? And where do you store them in your new place? How do you keep them clean? Well, keeping them clean, basically rinse them out of water, dry them, and then basically just yeah, you gotta clean a bit of dust off the top now and then. Whatever cans on top, if you double stack them. But apart from that, as long as you rinse them out, they stay clean. How many cans? Well, I did chuck out a load of cans before moving because I just haven't got the space. I was running out of space. Um, I kept, you know, Monster, Rockstar, Relentless, and all the Rebel cans and some special cans. I probably have got over 100 still, um, but not as many as I used to. Um, and in terms of where I've got them, well, I've got a few kind of... I've got, ouch. I've got a few Prime bottles here and the odd Monster and stuff, but the problem is, in my gaming room here, I'm still in limbo and what to do with it because I don't want to, like, plough everything on that wall there and then figure out I want something else. And the problem is I've got my desk here, I've got my PS4 and stuff there, computer sitting there, and I've got my spare desk over there. So it's, I'm not sure, I'm not 100% on the layout yet. And the problem is, I've been saying that for a whole year since I've been in the house. So but the problem is because everything takes money now to you know put new shelves up, change this and paint this. It's like, I don't know what to do. And I, I just don't know what to do. And that's what I don't want to do something and then it not be happy with it or not be right. Um, so yeah, unfortunately the rest of them are in the loft in boxes. I will get them down. They will be up at some point, famous last words, but yeah, you know, 
Uh, so Johnny Ghibli 7934 asks, so are you happy with your growth on YouTube? Now, this is a 50-50 question because if I ask myself, am I really happy with the growth? No, because obviously I would love to grow a lot, lot, lot bigger and, and you know a lot more faster. However, I've always said this to myself, and this is what you have to remember. I do YouTube as a hobby and I enjoy doing what I do. So whatever happens, happens. And it's been a slow increase and that's fine because I haven't got big too fast and now it's still my current level. I can appreciate every one of my viewers and subscribers and I can interact with all of you because let's be honest, if I ended up getting multiple thousands of comments per video, I know the big YouTubers say, oh, they read through all the comments and all this, but they're not reading through 80,000 comments, trust me. Um, but if I if I did end up getting thousands of comments, I haven't got the time in all honesty to read through all of those questions. So um, it's it's a balance, but I mean, yeah, I would like to see just, just a bit more growth in all honesty. I would like to see just a bit more, but as always, the drink reviews are niche for what they are. People want to see what a drink tastes like. They search monster something, they look at the video, look at the review, and then they clear off basically. So it is it is a unique, um, you know, kind of topic. But yeah, yeah, I would like it to be a bit more for the amount of time I'm spending on it now. How's the house going? Very good with the house actually. Um, so very busy. I'm still sorting out garden bits and putting this in there and it's changed a lot. You know, I've done a lot of work on it, but it still needs quite a bit of work. Not because it's in disrepair, but it just, a lot of stuff needs updating and you want to paint this and change that carpet and change this and that. So, but yeah, it's going very well, thank you. What do you think of Elon Musk? I love Elon Musk. He's going to do some crazy, uh, he's going to do some incredible things in our lifetimes. I'm really glad he's about in our lifetime. The guy's a genius. Like what he's done and what he's like inventing and creating is just out this world literally uh, so no i really like elon musk and you know i'm really glad he bought twitter because it's really going to protect like free speech and stuff like that if you guys follow me on twitter um you'll get a different side to me on twitter x or whatever call it x twitter you'll get a different side to me on twitter twitter is zesty lime studio um so yeah what company do you work for how long have you worked there uh what are your what are your work plans or are you happy in your role so I'm not going to tell you what company I work for, just my place get a bit um, sweat, sweaty when it comes to talking about them on, uh, online, unfortunately. I did do TikTok videos with my HGV, but they found out and told me off, so I had to stop. So I'm not going to mention the company I work for. How long have you worked there? Just over three years now. Well, it will be four years, beginning of next year, it will be four years. What are your work plans? Or are you happy with your role? Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a HGV driver, kind of what it is. I'm happy like where it is and everything like that. So there's kind of nowhere to get any better because I'm a HGV driver, you can kind of do anything then. Work plans, um, well, work plans, I mean, I said, ideally, I'm in a high enough paid job now to allow me to kind of balance the YouTube. Ideally, like I said, in kind of another comment, I would love to obviously do the YouTube full time. So basically, what are your thoughts on Prime as a whole? Um, in all honesty, if it wasn't for the people that made it, KSI and Logan Paul, it it would be nothing. It's purely because the hype and the people behind it is why it's just gone absolutely insane. Some of the hydration bottles are extremely nice, like Meta Moon and the Orange. They are really nice flavors, granted. The energy drinks will taste like crap. Um, but it's basically just a trend hype thing, isn't it? You've got all the big YouTubers just overreacting, fake reactions, telling them it's the best drink since sliced bread when most of them are pretty rancid in all honesty. So um, yeah, it's just a trend hype thing, isn't it? Just to get kids to spend hundreds of pounds on bottles of Prime. Like, you know, if you're wicked wands and all this, spending the grand on a bottle of Prime. So um, it's just the people behind it, you know? And there seems to be a current trend of hydration drinks. So um what are your thoughts on feastables? Feast, feast table, feast tables? What the hell is a feast? What the hell is a feastable? That sounds like an ice cream. Festival, that's fe fest tables? I don't know what you mean, bro, without Googling that. Hmm, why don't you do blind taste tests anymore? Uh, time, in all honesty, but I, I do want to do more blind tests. Don't worry, guys, I've, I have just been, ugh, I'm just so busy. I can't go into more detail, but um, yeah, just super busy, but I do want to, so don't worry, I do want to. Uh, X Gamer or Sneak? X Gamer. 
Have you watched Oppenheimer Barbie? What do you think of them? Again, they're on my list to watch. I will get to them eventually. Um, yes, and what do you think of Just Stop Oil? Ooh, don't get me started on this, guys. Um, basically, they're a bunch of rich, retired old farts or they're young, rich students from Bristol who think it's necessary to stop me and thousands of other motorists in the country from getting around the M25 and blocking ambulances, which um, meant someone died because they blocked the traffic. It was confirmed, Google it. Um, someone, the ambulance can get through further back and someone died because of that. Someone was having a stroke and they couldn't get to the hospital in time, so they died, which should be a criminal offense and they should be locked up for murder. Um, and bearing in mind it's a criminal offence to actually block a public highway in the first place. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely detest them. Now, again, I don't want to go into too much detail because I know the climate debate is very heated at the moment. And I want to keep it away from my YouTube, which is why I haven't approached the topic kind of at all, really. Um because I don't want people to flag it and then report the video and then I get striped and stuff for, you know, for disinformation and all this nonsense. So I'm just gonna avoid the topic entirely. Um, all I'll say is if you want my real opinion on it and the truth, go to my Twitter, which is, as I said, Zesty Lime Studio, because that's the only place where free speech is left. That's all I'm gonna say on that, but yeah, there are a bunch of videos. Right, Avan139 asks, what's your favorite monster flavor? Monster Java Swiss chocolate. What do you prefer, G Fuel or Stink? Neither, I prefer X Game, but out of the two, I prefer G Fuel. What's your fave bang? Rainbow Unicorn, because it's kind of like Skittles. Uh, BenPin679 asks, do you have a favorite energy drink brand? Which and why? Rockstar, I think Rockstar, because, I mean, Red Bull's kind of just been there all along and they're just not, you know, they're just boring. They're not really made for gamers and stuff like that. They're just rebels there, rebels, rebel. Um, Monster's obviously got quite a big part in the kind of, you know, the kind of, the motocross scene and stuff like that but rockstar for me felt more of your kind of classic corner shop 99p drink back in the day when growing up it was like oh yeah 99p rockstar in the corner shop whereas monster was always like oh big monster but rockstar always had so many unique and cool flavors over the years where monster never kept up as rockstar did so honestly rockstar to be honest with you relentless is just yeah relentless is just was never as big um do you follow any sports associated with energy drink brands? F1 motocross MMA. I do follow F1. Um, I watch the highlights every week. I don't watch the full race because again, I've got time and the full races isn't the most interesting. Um, but I do follow the highlights, so yeah, I do follow F1. Joss B77 asks, what's your favorite energy drink? Again, um Black Sun Energy. Or the Monster Java Swiss chocolate or something like that. And last but not least, dead good dead. Gorg asks something in a different language I cannot read. So please comment English next time so I can read it. Before you say copy and paste it into Google Translate, I could have, but you know, why wouldn't you comment in English? But anyways, that's all the questions. So as always, hope they were all of satisfactory answers. Um, I'll do another one of these in a few months or whenever, a couple of months time, a few, week, few months time, whenever. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long, just under 25 minutes. Yeah, that's not bad whatsoever. So. But there we go, guys. Um, yeah, as always, thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all later.